When I say bananas, you say peppers. And you guys, today we have more mini things. Of course we do. Mini verse, mini brands, they are churning them out. In fact, I do feel like mini verse has come out with lots of more new stuff lately than mini brands. Very interesting. But I saw these coming out and was I excited for them? Of course I was. We have mini brands home edition. They say create your own mini home. Now I honestly have only seen these like pictures here and there over the past couple of months and a lot of people are putting their mini babies. Do you guys remember that? Like the mini reborn babies in this mini furniture. Other than that though, you guys, I don't really know if it's miniature. I do think that this says kitchen aid. I almost said kitchen, kitchen made, Tupper made. What am I thinking? Rubbermaid! Whoa, does that still exist anymore? So I'm assuming since it is mini brands that it is going to be actual home items miniaturized, but I honestly can't think of very many recognizable like furniture brands, like kitchen stuff. I feel like it would be easier, but furniture, I don't know. Or is it just kitchen stuff? I don't know. Um, although it's mini home, so I wouldn't think it would just, I, I think it would be called mini kitchen if it was just like kitchen appliances. And you guys, how do I always cut my nails the day before I attempt to open these? So I did get four of these balls from Target. Y'all, what's going on with Target lately? I feel like Target has all the mini brands, all the mini verse. They're getting them first. Like I feel like it used to be like they would have different collections at different stores. Like sometimes Target would get some of them first. Sometimes Walmart would get some of them first. Sometimes Amazon would get some of them first. I guess Amazon is not really like a shark in the water when it comes to these mini unboxing things for some reason because they have not had any of them except for like resellers. So let's see what these are like, because I kind of don't know what to expect. Is that a Dyson? Ooh, a lava lamp. <gasps> you guys, I'm like literally not even trying to look at the chart, but what am I even seeing? Y'all, this is huge. It looks like a catalog. Like how cute would it be if they did like Ikea style? <gasps> Okay, wait, I'm ruining it for myself. Okay, let's find out. It looks like we do have five pouches, but you guys, this looks like it has nothing in it. So let's just, I don't know, let's just, uh, let's open this one first and see what it is. It's a stool. So yeah, that's what I'm saying. You would really have to be like a person that is like very into furniture or something to be able to recognize like the look of this. Like I know that there are obviously like furniture designers, the same as like fashion designers that have like very distinct styles. So maybe these are like replicating something what that thing is? Hell if I know. All right, up next, oh my God. We have eggs. <laughs> this is crazy. This is like almost like a grocery thing. And I cannot remember, we got uh, mini brands from another country and I feel like there was eggs in that one. So we actually do have this little mini egg carton and uh then we have little oh my gosh we have these little mini eggs so you can put the tiny eggs in the egg carton and wow look at that so cute oh they don't like jiggle around in there either i was like could you hear the eggs bouncing around in there no all right you guys what is next i feel like this is the flat envelope this is a tiny little water bottle okay it does look like there's a brand sistema i feel like that's a brand that I recognize, but it's not like so recognizable that I'm like, oh yeah, a Hydro Flask or a Stanley or a Yeti. I wish that there was like mini brands Yeti. That would truly be absolutely perfect for my life. So the little, um, that would be like the wrist loop is kind of flexible. I love the detail where it's like partially see-through. It's very, very cute. Like I feel like miniature cups is definitely something that's missing with the cup craze and everybody battling out which is their favorite cup. You guys, I have tried them all, but Yeti, I'm, I'm kind of a, a Yeti gal. Um, sippy, sippy. 
So I thought that the last one was the flat envelope, but this is in fact the flat envelope. Now it does at least feel like there's a three-dimensional object in here because I was kind of scared that they were gonna do like the sticker thing again. What was that? Mini gross mini brands or something? Like one of the five items was a sticker or maybe that was mini brands sneakers or something. I don't know you guys. I was not crazy about that. But it does look like we are gonna get five miniatures and I am grateful for that. So we have a rolling pin. I was spinning it around to see if it was, you know, a kitchen appliance brand, like an actual branded rolling pin, but it is in fact just a rolling pin. This is like kind of exciting that I have like no concept of what is in here. I feel like it makes it more like interesting because I have just no idea what to expect. Like this. I'm thinking this is meant to be a um, beanbag chair of some kind. This is like very thick, solid plastic. Very, very interesting. You know, I wonder if um, this series is gonna be like the mini brands fashion where in each ball you do get a purse. I wonder if this is gonna be kind of the same where in each ball you are gonna get like one of the pieces of furniture and then like other miniatures to go along with that furniture. Um, but this was a very interesting grouping, like beanbag chair, stool, eggs, rolling pin, and water bottle. I don't feel like it's like a cohesive thing as much as the mini brands fashion, where it seemed like you would get the same accessories, like the same wallet or scarf that would go with the bag. Isn't that how it went? I feel like those were much more like color coordinated, where it was more like a set. All right, you guys, ball number Number two. I like the color scheme of these, but also it makes me think of like office furniture specifically for some reason. I don't know why, but let's see. This might be the furniture. Oh, it is. Look, this is like the same, but different. Yeah, I feel like this would be super cute to put the little mini reborn baby in. I am not crazy about the color, this like baby pink thing, but I do like the shape of this chair. That looks like very magical. I'm imagining if it was like a velvet or something. <gasps> Once again, you guys, we have a pretty flat packet here. What is this? Oh my God, it's like two books. Okay, once again, I wish they would have done these like the mini brands books. What was the last collection we just did? The retro ones, yes. Where I thought the cookbook would have been so much cuter if it was an actual openable mini brand book. I feel the same about these. Cause like the front looks very cute. It's two miniature magazines, Southern Living and Traditional Home. So so they do kind of look like magazines, but at the same time, like they're just not as realistic as the mini brands books. I do feel like that is a huge missed opportunity to once again kind of do like a crossover collection of the mini brand sets. I feel like the covers do look like real miniatures, but if you look just a little bit beyond the surface, it does kind of look like what it is, which is two pieces of plastic with a sticker on the front. <gasps> oh, we got the lava lamp. Oh my God, you guys, I'm so excited for this. There's like little air bubbles in the plastic that make it look like the lava is moving around in there. See, I kind of feel like this is a perfect crossover between mini brands home and mini brands retro. Can you guys see the bubbles? This is super, super cute. This is like probably one of my favorite mini brands ever because I do love lava lamps. All right. All right, let's see, what is this? What is this? This must be like a humidifier or a diffuser or no? Okay, I was like, is it some kind of onion receptacle? But it does look like there is meant to be a little power button imprinted on the back. So yeah, I think it's like one of those like things you'd put on your nightstand or whatever that is either aromatherapy or humidifier, diffuser. You guys know those things. I feel like you see this like on TikTok shop a lot where it's like, you need this 
humidifier and they they look like that a lot all right Ooh, what is this oh it is like a little um tupperware thing and that actually has a pretty good seal it's kind of funny because um i think no it's right here well i have a i have a baby doll sitting on it right now but i just showed you guys i like literally just got a tupperware that is basically this same fuchsia magenta color that you guys know i love so much so i'm pretty sure like a year or so ago from timu i got a couple miniatures that were meant to be like little i want to call these sandwich bags they're not but you know you can put foods and snacks inside of them the little tupperware things but those like actually did not have a rubber top like this one does so they like looked like they would close but they didn't really close that well but this actually having the rubber top it really closes with a good seal on it i'm trying to think if i have another miniature in my collection that is tiny enough that i could keep it in like a mini in a mini maybe something from remints or something would be small enough to fit in the tiny Rubbermaid thing. I wish these had more brands to them. I feel like that's the only thing is sometimes I am a little bit like less excited for the mini brands that are not branded. I feel like that's kind of the charm of mini brands, you know? All right, once again, it does feel like this is gonna be the large, oh my gosh, the large furniture item. But look at how cute this is. A KitchenAid Espresso machine espresso machine i feel like i'm one of those people that says espresso but this is so cute i wonder if this is like one of the more rare ones because it definitely feels like there is something in this box i'm hoping it's not just a piece of plastic i'm hoping it is actually oh my gosh i feel like i'm like ruining the experience for y'all down here look at this it actually looks like it has the cardboard carton and i hope i'm not like about to spill these out i kind of thought that this is just like one piece of plastic that looked like it had all of these pieces in there okay some of them are stuck in there i thought each and every one of these little pieces comes out but in fact just these two pieces do now i've never had a coffee machine this sophisticated so laugh at me now but I don't know what these pieces are called I know this is like the thing that people fill up with the coffee grounds I think to actually like put it in the machine and make the coffee with what what are these little pieces called I don't know um but how cool is that that it actually has like appliance packaging so it looks like you know when you get a super sophisticated little machine like this and it comes in this carton type wrapper so let's open it up and oh my god gosh this is so cute it actually has like the water tank on the back of it that looks clear look at the machine this is very 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 cute and um last but not least it in fact has instructions like as if it was an actual KitchenAid machine that one was pretty cool I obviously wish all of them came in magical packaging like that that oh, oh it's another lava lamp look now we have two lava lamps you guys know i hate getting repeats but that one's like my favorite one so far so i'll take a repeat lava lamp all right what is this it like does not want to rip open oh y'all once again i feel like they are like going for a very like tiktok vibe here it's like that signature wavy mirror that i feel like everybody went crazy for and i feel like a lot of times like the back of this like lights up but look at this it kind of feels like it's a real mirror because it is oh my god you guys it only has like a little bit of that like fun house like distorted mirror effect but dare i say you could like put this in your bird and apply your mascara with it all right we have two more things in this ball what is this oh it looks like another um tupperware type thing oh my gosh there's like three is there just three pieces in it it's an ice cube tray <gasps> and look it's that same color that i like the fuchsia magenta type color and here are the ice cubes so you can actually like the eggs 
put the cubes in the tray which fell on the floor amongst all the wrapping paper down here. Here is the ice cube tray all assembled. Once again I love that the top is actually rubberized so it really um, seals and makes it more realistic. So there is our little ice cubes in there. Now don't want to come out. Uh, yeah so that is pretty cute. I feel like this is definitely one of my favorites as well. I love a good ice cube and I think it's so cute that they like seal up in there. They actually actually close up in there quite nicely. All right you guys we have one more extremely flat item and it is another rolling pin. So there we have it. I feel like there's 60 in this collection. Let's see. Y'all, for the first time, I don't see where it says however many to collect. All right, let's see. Last ball of the day. I feel like I get four of these at a time now um, to just kind of gauge, like how much am I gonna like them? How many repeats does it look like they are gonna give out at the very beginning? So I feel like we haven't gotten that many duplicates truly, but let's see what the last ball holds. All right, right on the top we got, oh my god, something that is in a thousand pieces. Y'all, what is this? It's like some kind of mysterious appliance. It is a sandwich maker maybe? Are we making grilled cheeses? So this is it. Some assembly required, you guys. It's a bunch of silver stuff in my hands. Okay, so trying to like assemble it down here. Y'all are probably gonna laugh at me because I'm like, what is this thing called? Whew. Okay, you guys, look at this little thing. It almost looks like a waffle iron, but I think we're making some grilled cheese sandwiches in here. Oh, look, one stuck to the top. This is really, really cute and really detailed as well. The sandwiches feel a little little rubbery honestly. They look nice and toasted and um, I like the fact that the little like sandwiches come out of the press, the grill, whatever we want to call it. That's pretty cute. That is pretty detailed as well. Now I don't see an actual brand on this one like the other one was a KitchenAid appliance but I did just take a minor peek at the catalog so maybe that will tell us more in the future but that's really cute. That's like the the coffee machine I feel like. Oh my gosh. I love love this one like the lava lamp. It is a cheese grater. Very detailed, very cute and it's so funny because I actually have a collection of cheese graters. I'm not sure if any of these are in view right now. Um, oh there's a grater right there. I'm not sure that all of these are cheese graters but that's definitely something I've loved to collect from Uncommon Objects over the years is like vintage retro and antique graters. I've got a lot of them in this room. They're kind of like find the hidden graters. So that's super cute. Okay I feel like this is gonna be the larger piece of furniture and oh my what is this? Y'all this is crazy. I feel like they are really trying to compete with Miniverse right now. Y'all we opened this up and we got Mini Brands Magic UV Glue. I feel like that is a fancy word for resin. <laughs> now let's see what all these tiny pieces are. It's like a whole breakfast set. We have a skillet and we have a um, spatula, which it's not focusing. Yes, spatula. And two little sausages. Look, let's see if I can pick up the sausages with the tongs here. So we have sausage A. Hello. Yeah. And this tiny little <laughs> sausage, sausage B. And then we have an egg in here as well. Yeah, look at that. A cute little fried egg. So I think you're supposed to assemble all of these. Let me see if I can show you guys the little like instruction thing that came. Yeah. So you're supposed to basically like put the magic UV glue in the bottom of the skillet and set the little food in there and let it cure in the sunlight for five minutes. And then you've made like a little like diorama. I feel like that's become so popular in the 
mini verse community where you kind of make these frozen moments where you kind of like make the food look like it's cooking or like you've got the skillet like flipping over the egg or something let's say but definitely more and more I see less and less of a reason to actually use UV glue or resin in a lot of these like to me it's a lot cuter and you're able to use them in more settings if you just leave the little sausages and the skillet and the eggs separate versus if you like glue it all together that was something I recently said in the Harry Potter mini verse video like I kind of don't understand the point of having resin in that I feel like it would be a lot better to give like colored water or something or just like mix the potions up over and over using the tiny ingredients with water or something so it would have more movements so yeah I absolutely love that I think that that's really cool that basically they're giving you like two things in one thing this is kind of like the mini brands create and mini brands like all in one ball but I'm definitely gonna leave mine separate just because I feel like I would use them more that way Ooh, this feels like something squishy what is this oh it's the legs of the stool so we got another repeat here and I think this is our last one you guys last envelope for the day is it another rolling pin ah it is another repeat it's another one of the water bottles the Sistema water bottle I think is the brand yeah Sistema is what I think it is all right you guys let's look at the chart here oh my goodness gracious okay so we did get one of the legendary ones it looks like three of the things that are the super rare are the frying pan a fish bowl that is so beyond cute and some kind of little flower arrangement so that is really cool that we got one of the most rare ones today and then there are two iconic ones oh my gosh a fruit bowl a designer armchair a designer stool maybe those have like bits of fabric as part of them I love the fruit bowl though and this is really cute as well it's a countertop oven so I guess that's the second rarest ones um then we have a KitchenAid stand mixer I wish I would have gotten that so I could like give that to my mom she has those she loves those then we have a KitchenAid blender very cute and a lip sofa so those are luxury as well as black and decker vacuum cleaner that's so cute we have small cupboard cup cupboard how do you say that cupboard I don't know and a sideboard so those are the luxury section quite a few luxury ones then we have ultra rare so I guess you could get a rug a makeup vanity a makeup stool so cute um food processor espresso machine coffee grinder then the sandwich maker so we got two of the ultra rare there's also an air fryer and a microwave adorable frying pans casserole lots of master chef stuff oh my god um I would absolutely love a black and decker iron look at that so yeah you guys and then I feel like they somewhat get into the territory of it looks like a real brand but it doesn't have a real brand listed such as the fan that I would love to get because we actually do have this Dyson fan and it works amazingly there are other Sistema products like water pitchers and food containers we have a work chair and yeah ooh, wall art that is so cute an ironing board and yeah oh my god a cupcake pan there are tons of cute options I almost feel like this could have more or less been called mini brands kitchen I feel like there's more kitchen and food related products versus like furniture and like home items if that makes sense but I don't know you guys some of these bits of furniture definitely like give off the essence of Ikea that would have been so fun like an Ikea collab I kind of don't know why more brands like wouldn't want in on collabing with mini brands I feel like this has to be like a huge win for your brand if it is a mini brand I feel like there's been so many times that like back in the day when it was just food items there would be like a new type of cereal or something that if definitely I saw it as a mini brand I would go out 
and want to try that flavor, that type of cereal. So I feel like this has to be like good PR, good brand awareness. So I kind of wonder like why, like, well, Dyson I feel like is like a tricky brand, but like Ikea or something, like why not? You know, like why not more brand? Like Yeti, why not? You know, Stanley, why not? But yeah, I really like these. They're not like my absolute favorite because I feel like there are a lot in here that I wish I could pick, like the little iron and ironing board. And then there are some that like just personally don't appeal to me that much. So I feel like I would kind of rank these with mini brand books. I love the concept and they are super fun, but I'm not sure like if I would get more of this series, but I, I'm always like excited for these. You guys know that. I'm always excited when there's like some kind of new miniature. I want to try it at least once. But that is it for me today. Thank you guys so, so much for hanging out today and for watching. If you're not already and you'd like to be, hit the button down below, subscribe, become a member of the Banana Pepper Squad today. Until I see you guys again, which is going to be very, very soon. Stay happy, stay healthy, stay sassy, stay banana peppery. I love you guys so, so much and I'll be back soon. Bye!